Let's discuss this question next. Find x plus 1 whole power 6 plus x minus 1 whole power 6. Hence or otherwise evaluate this root 2 plus 1 whole power 6 plus root 2 minus 1 whole power 6. How do we go about doing that? Let's try to solve x plus 1 power 6 first. What is this? This is x plus 1 power 6. Power 6 is equal to what? This here will be equal to, as you can observe, 6c0 x power 6. 1 power 0, which is 1. The next term, binomial coefficient will be 6c1. The power of x will reduce, the power of 1 will increase, but will that impact anything? No. 1 power, 1 will be 1 only. The next term will be 6c2, x power will reduce to 4, 1 square will be simply 1. The next term will be 6c3, x power 3, 1 power 3, which is 1 only. Plus 6c4, x power 2, times 1 power 4, which is 1. 6c5 times x, times 1 power 5, which is 1 again. 6c6 times x power 0 times 1 power 6, which is 1. So this is what you get, x plus 1 power 6. What about the next one, x, plum, x minus 1 power 6? Now this term had a 1 power 1. Next term will have a minus 1 power 1, there will be a minus over here. So every alternate term will have a minus. You can observe, every alternate term will have a minus. The first term will be plus. Terms will be exactly same. The only thing which will change is the sign. Plus, minus the same term plus the same term, minus the same term, plus the same term, minus the same term, plus the same term. This is what you get. Alternate plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. This is what you get. And what next? We are supposed to add them together. Let's add them together. What I want to do is, I want to add them together. Adding them together will give me x plus 1 power 6 plus x minus 1 power 6 is equal to, you add these two terms, you get twice of 6c0 x power 6. These terms will get cancelled, right? 6c2 x power 4, okay, you get 2 times 6c2 x power 4. This will get cancelled plus the next term which you will get is 6c4 2 times plus this term will get cancelled and what you get is 6c6 over here. This is the expansion for finding this expression. Can we simplify it further? Yes, we can simplify it further. How do we do that? 6c0 is pretty simple. This is 2 which is okay. 6c0 is 1. This is x power 6. What is 6c2? Let's find 6c2 separately. 6c2 is equal to 6 times 5 over 2 times 1 which is 15. Okay, so this is 15 x power 4. What next? 6c4 is same as 6c2. This will again be 15. And you will have x square. 16c6 is 1. This is what you get. Okay. So the sum of x plus 1 power 6 and x minus 1 power 6 is equal to this. There is another part to this question. What does that part say? That we are supposed to find the value of this expression. So you replace x by root 2. And you get this expression. So let implies implies this x equal to root 2 implies root 2 plus 1 this root 2 plus 1 power 6 plus root 2 minus 1 power 6 is equal to twice twice of this expression what is that root 2 power 6 root 2 power 6 is 2 power 3 2 power 3 which is 8 plus 15 times root 2 power 4 is 2 power 2 which is 4 plus 15 times square root of 2 whole square which is 2 plus 1 this is what you get this 2 is okay this is 8 which is okay plus 60 plus 30 plus 1 is what I have this is 15 times 4 is 60 15 times 2 is 30 this is what you get this is 99 2 times 99 is 198 and yes that should be my answer for this question that is my answer for this question over here this is first part and this is the second part, right? First, we had to find that expression and on the basis of that, we could find this. Yes, that's a complete solution for this question.